Hundreds and hundreds of street lights have gone dark all across the valley over the past two years because thieves were ripping out and selling the copper for cash. In your public street lights, there's a particular and identifiable kind of copper that's used. It's called seven strand. If a proposal passes, it would be illegal in the county for scrap dealers to buy it from just anyone wired together to create seven strand copper wires. Thieves across the valley have ripped close to a million feet of this kind of copper wire out of our street lights and public works. This here is how it appears in our street lights. Commissioner Michael Naff shows us here's how the wire looks inside. There's insulation and labels to disguise what's been stolen. Thieves rip it all off, tear the strands apart, then sell it to a local scrap dealer or recycler for cash. There really is no good reason for an individual to be walking around the streets carrying this stuff. It's used uh, by municipalities, by Clark County, fairly exclusively. The next step to stop copper wire thieves is cutting off their sales. A new ordinance being introduced countywide says it will be illegal for junkyards to buy seven-strand wire from anyone unless they're an authorized government employee or licensed business. If the wire comes in stripped, the seller needs proof that it's theirs. If a scrapyard violates the law, the punishment is a misdemeanor with a fine up to $1,000 up to six months in jail. The business license can be revoked. The city of Las Vegas passed a similar law just last month. I called several scrap dealers in the valley to get their take. One tells us that's already their policy. Another says they stopped taking copper from the public unless a person has a contractor's or a business license. Some really good actors in town. There's some who are operating in the gray area. Businesses can submit statements or public comment to weigh in on the proposal. If you still have street lights out in your neighborhood, county officials say there are still about 200 sites that need repairs. They have hired a contractor to help tackle the backlog.